Flight 370 exposed the difficulties in locating missing planes. Well, NASA intentionally crashed a plane yesterday in an experiment that could solve future mysteries involving private planes. Chris Van Cleve was there. Two, one, release. This plane's final 100-foot flight won't last long. But its dramatic end could one day save lives. It is the second of three crash tests at NASA's Landing and Impact Research Facility outside Norfolk, Virginia. The center was once used to practice lunar landings and still test spacecraft. Now researchers are working on building a better, smarter emergency locator transmitter that can sense when a crash is imminent. Known as an ELT, it's essentially a homing beacon built into planes designed to quickly lead rescuers to a crash site. Lisa Mazuka is an astrophysicist and NASA's search and rescue mission manager. Is the real goal of your research to start before impact, to get to the crash before the crash? Exactly. In many cases, as we've now seen, it's vital to know where that plane is while it's still in the air. Right now, these ELTs only work upon impact. In 2013, there were more than 1,200 small plane crashes in the U.S., killing 387 people. The importance is your life. So if these work, and you are in dire straits, you have a golden hour as we call it. We want to make sure that we can get the rescue forces there to you as quickly as possible. But first, that beacon has to survive impact. Chad Stimson is overseeing the project. What kind of forces that it's going to be exposed to, where it should be installed, um, how to install the other pieces of equipment that it's uh, connected to so that the complete system functions optimally. Researchers are hoping to be able to make recommendations to the FAA by the end of the year. Scott, the transmitters don't work underwater, but NASA says they are installed on commercial airliners. Chris Van Cleve at the test center for us. Chris, thank you.